like on the ground, like freaking bleeding out or messed up. Accident where um, I let my ego take over. It decided, it made me, well, it didn't make me. I chose to do something a little bit stupid and careless and I ended up on the side of the road right next to a guardrail, almost over a mountain. Not as dramatic as I'm making it sound, but it was, it could have turned out a lot worse. And after that day, I realized really quickly that there's, there's things you can't mix with motorcycle riding. And if you mix, if you begin to start, if you begin to mix your ego with your decisions, you're going to be in for a really bad time. You're going to make choices that you probably should never have made and it may result in something that could have been better. Well, for a new rider who doesn't necessarily understand that, it may not, it's not very good to give you a powerful bike. It's, we're not, people when they say start low, they're not saying start low because you know you can't handle a bike. No, there are a lot of people who, there are a lot of people in this world who can get on 600, 1000 and not die. Oh, hello. There are a lot. Whoa, dude, jackass. But, though they're far and few between, and the one line I love to say about that is, when it comes to motorcycle riding, well, a lot of things in general, you'll never know if you're the exception to a rule until it's too late. So you could think you're gonna be the best rider known to man, until that day you have your accident and you're like, man, I shouldn't have done that. And it's all about judgment and perception. Well, what we're saying is if you're on a 250, it's a lot easier, it's a lot, har it's a lot harder to really make those stupid decisions, those really dumb, retarded decisions that a seasoned rider would know better. Which would, some of them would include turning your, hand your handlebars and braking with your front at the same time which I've made that mistake before. But yeah, one of those stupid moves, and on top of that, it costs a lot of freaking money to be fixing a 600 motorcycle. With a 250, it's a lot cheaper to buy parts. It's just a lot easier and less of a headache. And besides, even if you drop it, if it's not that bad, who really cares? 250s are kind of uh, learner bikes anyway. Most people, when you resell them anyway, they expect there to be some kind of messed up or some damage on it. It, it's kind of in it's not all that uncommon but jesus christ people after coming from virginia jeez people are so afraid to pass people down there but here it's like oh hey i'm passing but anyway oh i love this turn but anyway it's so easy it's so much easier to make a mistake on a 600 that would have would have had allotted for a lot more wiggle room a lot more forgiveness on a smaller bike but take it as you will i mean like i said you're gonna do most people are gonna do whatever they want to do there's no stopping that but if you really don't be afraid if someone's like oh because it doesn't matter what you do until the day you buy a busa or 1000 rr not even a 1000 rr pardon me i mean the freaking hp4 until the day you buy that people are always going to be asking you why you didn't go bigger always it doesn't matter what you buy they're going to be like well why didn't you buy the 1000 well who cares buy with what you're comfortable with all right let's do this Anyway, the always, it's just the way it is. I mean, it doesn't matter what you buy. You buy a 600, they're gonna say buy the 1000. You buy the 1000, they're gonna be like, get the Busa. But I joke about the Busa. The HP4 technically beats that bike. Anyway, um, yeah. So you got, you're gonna, it doesn't matter what you're doing. That's why I, I caution about buying from your ego. Don't buy from your ego. Buy from what you feel comfortable with and what you want. If you want a 1000, I'll tell you right now, 1000 is absolute overkill. There is no reason in this earth, unless you are racing, that you really need a 1000. No reason. That bike is overpowered and unnecessary on any road. A 600 is more than enough bike. But if you want one, just for the heck of it, I mean, if Triumph made a 1000 version of the 675, 
I would con contemplate buying it only because I like the way this bike looks and I would want to collect it. That's it. It has nothing to do with the power because there's plenty of it. It's just, I like the way it looks and I would like to have another. I like Triumphs. But that aside, it's almost unnecessary. So that's the biggest new, uh, beginner mistake that I've... Ugh. That's the biggest beginner mistake that I've witnessed is people buying out of their class because their friends said they should go bigger, that they're going to get bored with a bike. And I'll admit, if you start low, it's going to end up costing a lot more than it would if you just started it with the 600. Because you're going to pay about $2,000, $3,000 for, um, for a small 250, 300 bike. And within the next year, two years, you're going to want to get a bigger bike unless you just quit riding. That's the way most people end up being. But you're going to learn a lot more and it's going to be a lot safer. Like I said, for me, my biggest goal in all motorcycling whenever I talk to people is retention. I want you to keep riding no matter what. I want you to progress. I want you to stay safe. That's my goal. And telling you to start in the 600 simply because you think that you need something bigger is dangerous, ridiculous, and the exact opposite of what I need to be telling you. So... Yes. Keep that in mind. Keep it as you will. You know, I can't... My opinion is my opinion. That's the way I see it, and that's whatever I'll... That's what I will tell anybody who's asking. But... Yes. That... It's just... Think with... Don't think with your ego. Take that... Whenever you make any decision about a motorcycle, Take your ego and throw it out because that's exactly what you need to do to be successful and keep yourself safe. If you don't, you're going to end up like a lot of different people in this world who aren't doing so hot with themselves right now or their bikes. But be that as it may, uh, I'm just going to stay quiet right now because I'm almost there.